Hey friend, we're super excited that you're here. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and explain our camper van electrical system. I know it's like one of the ones you guys have been waiting for. It's finally here, I finally edited it. We are super stoked that you found this video. We hope it helps you understand more about your electrical system in your van. With that being said, you can do this. So just stay with me and we'll get this thing done. I'm not gonna pretend that I know more about electrical than I actually do, but through the research that I've done, and I mean, through the hours and hours of research that I've done, um, I've come up with somewhat of a decent plan, but it's all predicated off of the fact that I'm gonna be using um, a DC to DC onboard charger with MPPT, uh, which means that I'll be able to uh, run an alternator power and my solar power at the same time. There's pros and cons of using this system from Renergy. For what I'm using this van for, it's all pros. If I was gonna live in this van, I might wanna find a different way um, to be able to power the van uh, or add a couple more things than just using this one piece. But since I only have 200 watts of solar on the roof and I only have 200 amp hours of battery life in my battery bank, I'm not too worried about um, amperage and that's the main drawback of this so like i said i'm not going to pretend that i know more about electricity than um, i do but i'm at least going to give you a little bit of direction so that you can get started uh, that's something that i wanted right when i started this was just the basics man i wanted to be able to you know figure out where positives and negatives hooked up what wires how many wires but the more research that you do the better it is so that you understand uh, that you know, if something goes wrong on the road or you're camping or something like that, when something goes wrong, you'll know exactly how to fix it, uh, which is awesome. So do as much research as you can possibly do. Obviously you are because you're watching this. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and then I'll show you the whole system when it's done. So here's our battery compartment. This is all of our power. Everything is coming in and out of here. The solar is coming from all the way up here, right here, dropping all the way down this post coming right into this breaker so that I can turn on and off the solar if I need to repair uh, anything down the line so that I'm not consistently getting power. All of my power, like I said, my solar is going into here. I also have, if you can see these wires here, this red wire is going all the way back to our alternator. This wire comes in down here, goes to this 80 amp breaker right here and then that goes to this open line right here. All of my power, so I have solar coming in and I have alternator power coming in. They both go to this. This is a 50 amp DC to DC onboard battery charger with MPPT. This is basically the brains of the entire operation. So all of my power coming in here, coming in here is going to go to this. The negative terminal is gonna go straight down to this screw that is uh, basically bolted to the van. So that means my batteries are bolted to it uh, and also all of my power. So here's my battery negative cable. It goes to um, another section of the battery cable to a shunt. This goes up to my battery monitor so that I can monitor the batteries. This wire goes all the way down and grounds itself. Then all my power going to this fuse block as well as my inverter goes through here and then this goes down to my negative terminal. So I have, uh, excuse me, my ground terminal. So all of everything, all of my components are all grounded to the van. So this is, like I said, the uh, DC to DC onboard charger as well as an MPPT charge controller for my solar. It has a bunch of fins on the back. So this is the one thing that's gonna be doing the most work out of everything. So I want to make sure that these fins get utilized. So I am going to mount it to a piece of plywood. This is a half inch piece of plywood, which I've drilled holes into. So I'll just mount it uh, to that. 
and then I've also marked and labeled everything just so that if when I put a cover on this I know uh, what uh, where things are that's gonna sit down in between right in here and then I have this little guy to lock it in and then that'll sit in here also I'm going to screw it to the side here so that this whole thing won't move at all so all of my power is coming into the uh, charge controller it's then going to go to this uh, 70 amp fuse right here uh, these are actually breakers I'm using I'm saying fuses but these are actually breakers um, because you can break it um, and um, reconnect it so this is a 70 amp breaker so then it gets reconnected to a 120 amp breaker which connects to our batteries so all of my power is going to be coming in through this cable to the batteries back out to this 120 amp breaker then it splits on the top end of it and goes to my 1000 watt inverter and also um, my fuse block for all of my DC you can see all these wires coming out of the side here. These are all the uh, negative terminals. These are all the positive. Those are all going down into a wire loom. This wire loom goes all the way back through here. And you can see all the white wires going through this hole. Right there, right here. Then it goes up into this beam and some of them split off like you can see over there this guy right here is uh, just one of our outlets for our um, basic 12 volt and then the rest of it goes up our lighting will go up and over and then to our switches and then back to our lights so everything is coming from this terminal it is all fused these are all the fuses for all of these terminals as you can see it does have six more terminals that we can use so if we wanted to add a fridge later or we wanted to add anything else into our van we can go ahead and do that here and then just run the cords or run the wires back through here so this guy right here is our 1000 watt energy inverter i have a basic plug and also their data cord coming off of here it's running all the way down through here and then straight to here. This is gonna be, this right here is our inverter on off. So as you can see, it's got on off. And then that activates this plug. So right now in the off position, this plug is not useful. So this is our battery monitor. And this is gonna tell us everything we need to know about our battery's life and uh, the amount of voltage and amp hours we have left on it. So this, as you can see, this cable is running all the way down through our main wiring harness. It comes all the way down um, and basically attaches to this cord here. This is called a shunt. You have uh, your negative terminal of your batteries is gonna connect to one side of the shunt. Then the other side is gonna go ahead and go to your ground all the way at the bottom. These little wires, this is gonna give it power so this is gonna power your battery monitor and that's attached right here to the positive terminal of our battery. Um, and then, like I said, this is the data cord going to the battery monitor. So like I said, all of our DC power is coming here. This means our lights, our fan, and all of our sockets, our outlets. So once it comes here, like I said, it goes down the terminal through our wiring loom. That goes all the way up here across the ceiling. Right here, you can see part of it. It comes back down this one, and then if you just see right here, it comes out of this back section of uh, plywood that I have on there, and then goes in to this one. This is removable, and then these connect to our switches. So you have to have power coming into your switch, and then power coming out of your switch. So just think of it as like breaking the connection, and then reconnecting it so that the lights work. So once that switch, it gets connected to that switch, the power goes back up the wiring loom, back to here, and then I have a front set and a back set. So there's four here and I have four back here. So each one of those switches corresponds to a front section and a rear section. We also have one more that 
that wire, loom, wire loom is coming down to come over here to this switch. This switch, which is just hanging out right now because it's unfinished, will power this light right here. So I'm calling these the garage lights and these will be activated by this switch which will be in the wall and this will activate this light as well as another light that's in the other door. Um, going back to our fuse block here, all of this is running off of this. So this one right here is actually going through here, running back to this socket. It's also, this socket is also connected going up and over to another socket right here. And these will be by our bed at night so we can charge our phones and things like that. Um, and then we have another one that's gonna be running right straight through here. And that'll be at the very front of the van so that the passengers who are sitting here uh, will have power to iPads and their phones. We have one last thing, and that's this, our fan. That's also running off that same fuse block. It's just running right straight up here and then getting connected directly. And then um, this will basically run all the time. This is our air conditioning, if you will. Um, and the batteries will be able to withhold the draw from this fan the entire time off of DC without the use of an inverter. I have to take a breath. That's it. That's all of our electrical system in a nutshell. I know that that was a long video. I know it's long winded, but thanks for staying with us. We really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And remember guys, create what you love. We'll see you on the next one.